These days, I'm working with medical doctors around the world, and I first started offering the journey in Britain by going to cancer centers and working. People were already getting chemotherapy, and they were, at the same time, getting a journey process to get to the emotional root cause of what had created the illness in the first place. I never, ever tried to tell anyone what their healing program should be. As a matter of fact, these days, when you go through the whole eight-day life transformation week, which is the Journey Practitioner Accreditation Program, I devote an entire day to just this field of health because there's so much science understanding and practical information that you need to know in order to be a guardian of your own health and your own well-being. And I feel as I've gone on, it is 26 years since I first began the journey and, and started offering that around the world to all the peoples. And what I've learned, pretty much grace will take care of my life. The infinite is in charge of my life. And I just have offered my life up to truth, to life, to grace. And I've become aware that if grace takes care of everything in my life, the one thing that I must take care of is my own personal health and well-being. And that's part of my job. Grace does everything else, and it's up to me to be a guardian and invest the time, the love, the care necessary to take care of this body. And so the journey as has been used in so many different fields. I even had Lyme disease five years ago, which I got from a tick when I was on a pilgrimage in Romania. And when I first went to, of course, I go to the medical doctor to get diagnosed and all the tests and everything. And I said to him, I am a healing machine. And he said, well, it's not possible to cure from this. You can go into remission, but it's not possible to cure. And I said, give me nine months and I will do everything you ask me on your protocol. And in nine months time, I promise you, there will be no markers of Lyme d disease in my body. And indeed, that is exactly what happened. And so this work has worked with everything from brain tumors to arthritis, to eczema, asthma, to disease, to colon infections, to allergies, even the common cold. It works with everything has a consciousness to it. I can remember one time I got parasites. I was, had been in India and I was going to visit a master who is a great beloved master in my life and great influence of me and on, on the journey. And I brought with me, because I have a green smoothie every day, a big canister of super greens with all the wonderful green things that you put into your smoothie in the morning. And Kevin was making our green smoothies every day. And I got back from India and suddenly I was breaking out in sores and my stomach was like a beer belly going <laughs> and these sores were coming from the inside out so they were opening up all over my face and so i ended up going to a medical doctor who was also who also practiced integrative medicine and we were on maui at the time and he said and what had happened is i'd looked into my little canister of green powder and when i looked down to make a green smoothie that morning i'd noticed that it started to move the powder started to move and of course there were parasites in there and so i went to the doctor and he said i had virulent parasites and that it was very dangerous that because it was from india that i might have to go to a tropical medical clinic and i said in please, can you prescribe herbs for me? You're the strongest that you've got. Because obviously this was something coming from the outside going in. I couldn't say that's an emotional thing. I could see in, in my in living color that there were these things moving in my um, green powder. And he said, he said, I, I can give you a nuclear bomb of antibiotics, but I, I can't say that they're gonna have any effect on it. And he said, I can give you the most powerful, and I said, I'm not gonna do the nuclear bomb version of antibiotics, but I am willing to do the um, herbs. And so I started taking them, went home, and I was taking them re regularly, and I was not improving at all. And I thought, you know, what have I got to lose? I'll do a physical journey, even though this is something that's come in from the outside. And sure enough, when I got inside, I had a cell memory 
of a parasitical consciousness that I'd invited into my own body. And long story short, I had been in Britain prior to that, and there was a businessman who had this big healing happen with the journey. And he invited me to come to Britain, and I ended up doing 28 introductory workshops in cancer centers all over Britain and agreed to do two journey intensives with him. And at the end of all this time I was there in Britain for three months, we'd agreed that I would get a small speaker's fee. And then at the end, after all expenses were paid, that I would then, we would split whatever was made from these two journey intensives. What happened was the 28 introductory workshops that I did all around the country, all over the place, ended up costing more than what we made from the two journey intensives. And there was nothing left over. And he also was taking in all the money that I was doing in my, with my private clients, which was helping to pay for my rent there in London. And he said to me at the end, I'm sorry, I can't even give you a speaker's fee because no money was made. It was all spent on all these free workshops. And also, if there were any money made, I'm going to have to keep your private therapy fees because I have my employees that I have to pay for in my business. And if it comes to between paying for them and paying for you, I feel that they need to be paid because they've been working for these three months. And so he was not offering to give me anything for three months of work in Britain. And I felt internally like, my God, all those people came to the Journey Intensive and they thought they were offering an energy exchange that the, the seminar paid for them to have this amazing teaching and transmission of grace. And it felt like instead I paid for them to come see me. And it felt like they were living off my life's blood. There was a parasitical consciousness there. So in, in bottom line, I finally did the journey process. And this is the cell memory that I uncovered that I'd almost created a hotbed inside of myself said, anyone who wants to live off of me, come one, come all. And sure enough, the parasites were living off of me. But here's the interesting bit. Kevin was having the same green smoothies. In fact, he was making them every day. He did not get parasites. Why? He didn't have a parasitical consciousness. I was the one who felt I was being lived off of. And so in the clearing of that parasitical consciousness, of course, in the next days, my sores started to dry up. And within two weeks time, they were almost completely gone. I still have a few little places where there's some pink scars left, but nonetheless, so often when you get to the emotional root cause of what has co-created the illness in the first place, no matter what the illness is, then your body says, okay, that's no longer here as a consciousness. Now we can go about the process of healing.